What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a ne- the next episode of The Misfit Effect. Of course, I'm Raw Star, and I'm sitting here with my co host, um, CW, and we are joined with two amazing, amazing people who I've known for, I want to say, like, probably like five, six months now. Yeah. Um, Mr. Uh, Jimmy Knight and Jay Kai. You can go ahead and introduce yourself, tell them um, who you are. And yeah, go from there. We'll get into the uh, podcast. Okay. Ladies first. Thank you. I'm Jada Kai. Um, I make my own porn right now, and and I do most of it with Jackie Knight over here. Yeah, and I'm Jackie Knight. I'm pretty <laughs> new to the whole scene. I was the cameraman, and now I'm getting more in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of, I, I kind of, I kind of went in reverse of that. I think I was in the. I was an extra in the song first, and then I started doing like telling people, "Hey, you want to be in porn? I can introduce people." Wow! Oh yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you do. We've been run- wondering what uh, Raw Star does. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, what he does is like in the industry, and I guess he's like a recruiter. Are I mean, you a middleman? I mean, I've done that, and I've taken pictures of people. Oh yeah, yeah. and that's I've, reco- true. I've recorded. Some stuff. But like, I did the I did the extra work first. Oh, it's yeah. Like, it was because that was very. It was when Urban X came. Like, hey, hey, well, you wanna you wanna be uh, you wanna get filled up by somebody while you say you meet me some morning? That. <laughs> Were you already? Out it sounded like time? you said filled up, but I, I said filled up. I mean, you like, mean I was, felt? Uh, I was like getting filled up I was, or <laughs> filled up. I was I was getting George. Up. How much of an extra were you? <laughs> I was getting groped. I was getting groped while mm-hmm. I was getting some morning. Oh, felt up. Yeah, no, felt up. <laughs> we all heard felt. Filled. Filled. We heard filled up. I was like, oh. L-T. I wouldn't call you an extra. L-T. L-T. Did you? Oh. L-T. L-T. Now filled up. And then they, that's when I started doing the Urban X Awards. And I am, oh, wow. That was 2010. That was, oh, nine. Were you already out here in California? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, that was When I moved out here originally, I was doing, um, I was casting for we had a television. Oh. So I did like Mo, Kid and I Married, Flavor of Love 3, American Next Time Model, uh, Real Chicks of Love, and um, Flavor of Love 3. So I did all those shows and I moved up. Nothing. <laughs> I'm just captivated. Yeah. Like, you're you're a guest on this show. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You're the guest now. <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh, okay. Tell us <laughs> more. <laughs> Welcome to the Misfit Effect. <laughs> Wait. Chris, Jackie, and Jada. <laughs> and here's Rasta, our guest today. <laughs> yes! Yes. Yeah. No. So, <laughs> what was your favorite moment? Yeah. Was your favorite <laughs> love? <laughs> no, Did you know Cardi B before uh, she was Cardi B? Only person who I know um, now that's doing stuff is uh, Brittany Hall. So, who is that? Highlands. Oh. I feel like you should have um, recruited Tyra into the porn scene. I think because most of the people who I talk to are like it's like when I, when I approached you and said, "Would you mind being being one of the girls that we have on for Urban Next Awards as one of the um, presenters, whatever?" That's basically what I did. Oh, that's so. cool. So that's why I go ahead and really not focus on me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Don't get mad that well, I'm You focus on me. I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> I like television. No, um, yeah, okay, so. Wow, this seems really unorganized, like a <coughs> SNL skit. But, uh, so, like how like did you. Okay, so you say you started. Yeah, this is just going to be short. This is going to be a short blurb. Yeah, it's going to be a short blurb. Sorry, guys. We're not going to just be talking about pornography on end for the whole entire thing. Yeah, we're gonna, we're we gonna tricked you. Know. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, tell us how you, Okay, how would you... Who started first? It seems like you're a cameraman. First. Okay, so how did you start? And then how would you be like, oh, it's yeah, I'll, I'll film it. And yeah, okay, now I'll do it. Um, so I started because I... I was working in Colorado, and I kind of got tired of Colorado, all this job, this so begins. he had to go to California, and um, we were kind of, I was like, I'll just follow, you know, and I was staying at the hotel, looking for jobs, 
And I'm like kind of just stuck in a hotel this whole time. And I was like, oh, this is stressful. I'm just going to watch porn. (laughs) (laughs) So I take a little porn break, you know. (laughs) And then um, after, you know, the climax, I'm like laying in bed like, huh, why not? I could do that. Light bulb. <laughs> so it was like the climax triggered the light bulb, and then all of a sudden I started like doing my research, and um, I I found out about camming, and and then I was just like really intrigued with like which company to do, and I was like I can do them all. <laughs> So I started with Chatterbait, and then eventually I went to Camphor, and um, I did like super unique videos with Camphor because I was able to stream from my phone, and then I did all these really cool like public shows, um, like right outside my apartment, and I would go on my skateboard and like, <laughs> kind of go around my complex and like flash my tits and like do all this fun stuff. So I really started having fun with it and then I was like oh I should make my own videos and now I'm just having a blast and then after I kind of pulled him in I was like maybe you should quit your vanilla job and um maybe slide it in (laughs) (laughs) let's step back for a second because you guys were in Colorado yeah you had to leave so you came out here first right so would you, what do you mind saying what you came out here for? So I got a new job that was like something I always wanted to do to like help and give back. And okay. Especially actually for like, a, it was a non-profit organization. Okay, cool. So I came out here, got trained up, and I was on the road all the time. So um, yeah, like the yeah. next two years, in Virginia and Pennsylvania, um, California, and she was pretty much either going to be back in Colorado or she could just come along with me. So, okay. But when she came along with me, she was, like, not able to make any money, so she was just hanging at home, or at the hotel, which is home, and um, so eventually she got a job. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect it, but, you know, she got a job, and I was like, that's really cool, you know, you found okay. something that you, like, you like, mm-hmm. you feel comfortable in, you're mm-hmm. safe, and, um, she, I mean, she was like, so happy all the time. Yeah, and you know what? I was so... Well, yeah. shit! Right? <laughs> I was so <laughs> sneaky about it, because, you know, like, the stigma or whatever. Yeah. Well, I, know, I know, like, a lot of people... <laughs> go in secret about it until someone finds out that it's like mm-hmm. yeah that was me <laughs> yeah. so I was just like um so like I did this thing on the internet closer. today yeah. and I touched myself but I made like some money doing it <laughs> she was like cool I was like cool I was like I'm like I said I need some money <laughs> it's cool oh yeah uh, right yeah uh, okay, okay. Okay, I didn't know how you were gonna feel about. It. I was waiting for the argument. He's like, "Nah, it's cool." Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? I was just like, I mean, we've been best friends since high school. Oh, okay. Not, we weren't best friends in high school, but we, were, we knew each other in high mm-hmm. school, friends. And after that, we became best friends. We had like, a really solid relationship, and like we look at it as like, well, especially now, but even before then, I looked at it as like when you really love someone, um, or even just want to, your, your best friend, you take care mm-hmm. of. Them. Um, that's what you know, we're traveling. Um, just with working, taking care of each other, it's like you don't you don't judge, you just support. You know, it's like it, when you see that's somebody, true. Yeah, your best friend, you really don't. You know, like man, the only thing you kind of step in on is like if they're hurting themselves. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like cool. Yeah, and it's sad. That there's a lot of people out there that feel like they do need to lie to their friends and family, and sometimes their friends and family do judge them. Yeah, and if they took a moment to like see them and understand them. I think, uh, yeah, it'd be cooler. That's how it was for us. I didn't even take a moment. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. You guys <laughs> get, that, get that money. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah, I guess. You need, can I help? And, oh, yeah. yeah. Busted out the camera. And <laughs> then I I kind of discovered a little bit of a passion for photography myself. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> that, that drove us out here as well. Okay. Um, two reasons. You know, I was in the military when I was younger. Okay. So I've got, like, free school. So I want to go to the... Film Academy. Oh, okay. one of the film academies out here. New York Film Academy is right now uh, top of my list, but there's also you know, a couple other ones out here. And um, if I do go with the route of documentaries later on, mm-hmm. I can still do that. Yeah, right now, okay. just having fun. 
Yeah. This man is doing the opposite, almost exact opposite of what I was doing. <laughs> That's cool. Remember this? Oh, yeah. I'm going to do a documentary. And, my, really? Degree, and like, my degree do not make sense, but I do have a degree. They don't. No, we're going to learn a lot from each other. Yeah. Or I'm going to learn a lot from you. At least. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to learn from me. <laughs> no, just, you're you learning know, to I'm, think something from everybody. About about That's and, true. And I'll tell you about one other thing when we're not uh, recording. But like, uh, Rick is doing the opposite thing. Like, we're flipped. So, like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe that's why we had that connection. I don't know. <laughs> so, that's very interesting. Like, uh, your journey actually um, going in. And like, I, I know that for some people, it's a lot easier just to do their own their own material rather than bringing out people because uh, people have issues. I see it like that. How long has it been? Um, a little bit over a year now. For you, yeah. yeah. Me, like two months. Oh, yeah. oh, fresh. Yeah. And it's been awesome. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's really good. I, <laughs> I have no, I have no. Oh, gee. Really? I didn't know that. Some numbers. Wow. It's a milestone. Ten years. Yeah. You've been hanging out for 10 years. <laughs> I've been doing yeah. random stuff. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. random stuff, but... We did random stuff for a couple of years. Um, I've been in, like, nine... I've been to nine countries. We were talking about this yesterday. She's been to 14 countries. Oh. I've been to nine. Okay, and, that's cool. Like, I was just a personal trainer in Thailand. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, making minimum wage. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, like... <laughs> You know, so like I had no so, career path. So, not going to personal, not to go to Thailand to personal train. Right, I had no career path then, man. It's just like going with the flow. <laughs> Train in Thailand for minimum wage. That's it. That's she got me the job. job. <laughs> <laughs> in Thailand, personal train. That's There's gyms in Thailand, man. <laughs> but that's in a mall. Yeah. In a mall. It was a, it was a mall, like a 20 story mall, massive, called Rama 9, over there in Bangkok. Oh my wow. god, so many details. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm just gonna and then you're that. like, wait, I, I was listening to my random podcast. <laughs> and I heard know this guy, I know him. Yeah. Remember him? Oh, mm, yeah, that's them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, yeah. So, they, so. Yeah, actually, I think somebody over there found out. Yeah, I get it. Oh, it's, it's weird. I get, um, sorry, I totally interrupted. I was going to say, I get a DM on my Facebook, um, on my Jada Pi Facebook, like, <gasps> blah, blah. Are, are you doing porn? And I was like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's why I'm naked on the internet. <laughs> That's why I'm on stage with Little Wayne, the Avian Awards. Uh, that's yeah, what she, she saw. saw the Avian Awards. Oh. Oh. She was like, like, I was watching the Avian Awards. Little Wayne. Somebody, yeah. somebody, uh, she's like, that's my friend. Oh, that's that's I know her. I mean, she bought the Avian Awards. She jumped the reunion. And it was like, so randomly creepy at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Are you coming to the high school? It's like, uh, I, we should have gone to ours. We'll go to the 20. Business cards. <laughs> business cards. Like, here. Yeah. I planned my. Um, if you're ever wondering. So, Curiosity. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you this. Someone from from our high school <laughs> asked me to help him get in the industry. Who? Nickname. Uh, he didn't have any. He didn't have it. Would you don't really help me with this story. I but if you, if you saw him, I, how would you I, describe I, him? If you saw him, what he looked like, what grade it is, what's his first <laughs> name? Steve. Steve? Yeah. He was one of the... Oh, I don't uh, even know who... Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember who Steve was. <laughs> who uh, high school? I know, like, he four was, Steves in my high school. golf dudes. Oh! Oh, oh, I don't... Wait, one of the golf dudes? Yeah. Like, we didn't even have... Four, Our we had a golf team? A golf. <laughs> golf. G-O... Oh, golf. Golf. Yeah. Oh. Golf. Golf course. And... <laughs> I think that's like what he wanted to do, like yeah. golf, personal stuff. Like you do what he wanted to do with. I'm like, I think it's easy. Well, I mean, there's plenty of people in Fort Wayne. Wayne I'm actually, like, I'm like, it's weird. Some of the kids this. never, they never, they never, no, nah, they were down. They were like, you know what? I'm about this golf life for life. Yeah. So you'll yeah, find yeah. kids that I went to high school like. I kind of went through a golf phase. 
face. Really? <laughs> I mean, I wore all black. She said, <laughs> she said face. Yeah. She was not like, life. Like, they wore black and then they got the white makeup and made Ooh. it. Oh, see, so I didn't go that far. Like, they were actually like sucking blood, so. That's like vampire. Yeah. That's like, that's not a phase. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Know, it's a lifestyle. I, know, I, know yeah. I think the girl can go fast. It's like going vegan, but oh, like, what girl? Yeah, oh, who, what girl? <laughs> More blood. Vivi. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. No, she, uh, so she was all like kind of gothy, I guess. She wouldn't call herself that because we were friends in high school. Uh, she just always white, all this makeup, love the misfits, all the stuff, blah, blah. No, her ha- her natural hair. I remember when we were in high school. She's like, my natural hair color is like, like blonde. Like I was like before when I was like eleven, I used to dress like Gwen Stefani. Oh, cool. and I was like, what? And then, yeah, now she looks like that. She looks like that. Like almost platinum blonde hair, like bright clothes. Totally different. I'll That's post crazy. videos and it's like, look. And she'll be like, oh my god, that was me. See, I went through a phase in Colorado where I wore predominantly all black. That's just because I just didn't care about style at the time. I just was working so much. And just like, and cargo shorts. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it didn't stain. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> cargo shorts. That's, I work. Yeah. It's like, I don't care. That, yeah, yeah, I just, I just like, work. Do people think I was God? <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like he hasn't been getting much sleep, and he looks like he's tired all the time. He looks angry. He looks kind of gothy. <laughs> No, I, I've just been working, man. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I remember I was friends with this guy who was like super flamboyant and fashionista, like fashionable. And um, he would be like, um, so can we fix your closet? <laughs> you're like, no, leave me alone. I can wear my shirts and my cargo shorts. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, I can go get a pack of Hanes t shirts. I'm set. <laughs> <laughs> that's the easy. You should, yeah. you, man, you should. Dress, wear something different when you come out. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why? I'm going to dance. I'm not going. I have a friend like that. He's like, yeah. he'll even bring clothes. He'll be like, yeah, maybe you should wear this or you should bring that. I'm like, well, I'm not your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, but, you know, when we go out, we, we start out to look a certain way. And I, I don't want you, like, yeah. clashing. I'm like. Like, you're now his accessory. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, I have another friend. He's dressed him completely. And he's like, so, I got you these. No, I actually called me. He was like, "Hey, I got you a present." I'm like, "What'd you give me?" He's like, "I got you these. Uh, I got you these Jordans." I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, thanks. This is the second time I've ever owned Jordans in my life. I appreciate your friend, but you just want me to dress like you." I know what you mean. I'm just some, I'm a regular guy. I don't. Yeah. I don't sell cocaine. I, <laughs> yeah, my friend sells cocaine. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, they probably people, listening already. People are doing it. Someone's got to sell it. Yeah, people <laughs> want it. Yeah. Supply and demand. Hey, just like hot dogs. I mean, they, yeah, if you do it, you know, do it responsibly. I've seen someone on the internet do it off a toilet seat. And I mean, a toilet physical. A lot of people do that. Really? Uh, apparently on TV. A lot of people on TV do it. Really? On, I've seen it. Is that like a new thing? I don't understand because you'd have to be like, right? Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why? Right. Like, there's not toilet bowls. Like, there's not the crook of your days, right? your your index and your thumb <laughs> finger and that skin flap. <laughs> it's not like I do it. Right? Somebody recorded. It. She was sitting on the on the ground. She was sitting on the ground. Yeah. On the toilet ground. I don't know what women's bathrooms are like, but I imagine. A lot of them hover, and so there's stuff on the floor oh still. I, I so I see, I see the video. She's just sitting down. I see the video, and I, and I wrote my Twitter. That's bad. I wrote on my Twitter afterwards. I'm like, I said, I understand some girls in the industry do do cocaine, but first of all, don't post that. Second of all, yeah, whoever's posting. Wait, it, somebody it, posted her doing cocaine. She posted it. Oh, she, she posted. posted. Oh, she tripping. She posted it on her eyes. No, somebody was like, don't post that. You can see my shoe in that. And then and then they go, why did my Instagram get deleted? I don't understand. They're haters. They're blocking me. They're after sex workers. You see everything? I see. Oh, man. Now, I see every. I'm like. 
They're like, I this can't even open this Twitter right now. Why did he lead it? Because you were doing drugs. That's the only thing they're kicking you out of. They're like, obvious. There's like five dudes around you. No deletion. You're like, I'm taking bumps. And they're like, delete. I don't know why. I don't get it. It's clear. Dude, it happens all the time. I it's know. Like, it's, uh, it's hard to feel bad for them. But I do. It's a big revenue stream that they're losing out. It's like, oh, I feel bad for you, but you have to know. It's like, I saw it. And yeah. then I saw you post after, like, this got deleted, but posting it again. <laughs> Try it again. Like, <laughs> Check me out. I'm crazy. I mean, like, yeah, it's that <laughs> feeling like, of, like, like untouchable. You gotta, you, gotta, yeah. you gotta know your mediums. Mm-hmm. You gotta know what you can post on Instagram, Facebook, and yeah, those yeah. How much user policies. Too much Your head gets too big, you know? Yeah. I think their shit doesn't stink, you know? They can post anything. Yeah, but Okay, we're, we're 20 minutes in. We can okay. Finally, we can finally get to our topic. Well, what's your topic? Let's get the introduction. Talk you know? To you guys. Let's we were talking about, like, our topic today was supposed to be about bad acting. Bad acting? Bad in, bad in, like, period? Period or in, in porn and, like, or whatever. Because she said, she said before we started that it's become a norm. I like love it. bad acting porn. That's like, they make me smile. <laughs> the thing is, like, like, like two hours ago when we were waiting for the other guests to, to show up, uh, I said to him, I said, you know, I, I can't get into it if, it's, if it, the acting is bad. It just what's kills, a good example? It keeps the fantasy. Yeah, what's a good example of good acting in a in a, I mean, I mean, like, in a in the, in the, I mean, it's it's at least acceptable acting. They come and say, uh, look, it, like it's just like sitcoms versus movies where it's like what? forced laughter, like like, it's like forced laughter, or they're yeah. talking loud or whiny, or it's like. So what are we what are we talking about? Regular? I'm confused at this moment. Both. both at this at this right now. You're talking about both. Oh, I guess I, I, I guess I will be watching. I watch some of the yeah, shade. I, I watch highlight clips that about bad porno acting, but I don't be like. I think that's how I started watching porn because I was on like what break. <laughs> break. 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 Dot break. Com. Yeah, break. some random stuff on break. Um, and I saw. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. Like. This clip where this chick was like picking lemons out of a tree. <laughs> when you're talking Do you about guys it. know what I'm talking I about? Mean, I don't. No, I'm not sure, but I feel like I've seen that in an advertisement of somebody. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't reach Reaches. these lemons, <laughs> and then like this guy picks her up, and then they start fucking. And I was like, "Wow, porn's so weird." And then it was like, "Are you feeling sick, sir?" And then they start fucking. I was like, oh my god, so unrealistic. I love it. It's true, like, I bumped up to you. I mean, like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Give, give me something that I can believe if you want me to watch it, you know? I, I'd then, like to think that if if I go out to the world, to the real world, I can be like, oh, it's so cold in here, but I'm going like this, <laughs> but then get fucked. Like, I can, if I can go out in the world and literally say anything, get fucked at the end, we live in a good world. <laughs> okay, so that's like from, okay, seriously, so, so, from. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how see, fake you are. How fake you are. It's like, I was I just, I'm like, like, sometimes it's certain, yeah, the I'm scenario just girl. doesn't. So oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, have this stuff I watch. So, girl, girl, pray. But, you know, different story. And the thing is, I'm looking on my, on my Twitter or today. is it? Yeah, it is. It, it's, it's like bad acting, like the chemistry when they're actually like... No, I mean like, I was barely looking on my Twitter today. Okay. And I'm going now, and this is why we started talking about this earlier. And like, I clicked the, I clicked the video of someone put up a promo. And basically, she was like, it shows her just having glitter in her hands, and she drops it on herself. And then the girl's like, this kid is bitter wrong. And then she's brushing it, and then she goes like this, and starts touching her. I'm like, oh, no, bro. I, I no. Like, I've seen some some of these. Like, I've seen some some odd videos. Give me something. I have actually sat and watched and listened to them, <laughs> like, starting it. Like, it was like, one, uh, what was it? 
It must have been pretty late. <laughs> <laughs> so it was this. Uh, I'm struggling. It was this video. I'm trying to think what time. No, because it just seems uh, how. I feel like there's levels to what I watch depending on the time of night like, how much or whatever. Time, like how much when it's getting, when it's getting, yeah, or sometimes the time I have, or like if I'm like coming back from like totally. going out to a club or whatever. Totally different. Yeah. So uh, it was something. I was like, what? What is like? Uh, what was the story? The video was like stepmom, like. <laughs> Randomly, like, accidentally fists, like, stepdaughter. And then she's like, oh, I don't know. And the girl's like, what are you doing? I don't understand. And I'm like, this is, this is just weird. I'm going to go back to my black phone where it's just like, you see this ass? <laughs> you see this ass? We going to fuck it. We going to fuck it. What's her name? Something blue. <laughs> Something blue. So, what do you think about the uh, the new taboo, uh, like the acting where it's like uh, like the stuck? It's like somebody stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm my hand stuck in the sink. Oh yeah, that, that, acting that, like that. that is <laughs> sick in my hand. I'm, that is. What are you What are you doing? doing. I was, I was, what are you? You're I was twisting me there. Uh, that's that's. A, I think that's a good example of what you're was, talking about. I want to say her name because you're obviously you could. I want to say her name, but <laughs> yeah, right, like, but her, she was she was she was having sex with her. Her stepbrother, and he's he spilled some glue on the table. And she, <laughs> she was stuck. Oh my god! Oh my god! You gotta send me whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, it was stuck. Oh, so, like, these plots are getting yeah, crazy. So funny. <laughs> but we all right. So I was gonna, I was gonna like segue it's, into. I'm stuck with we some made taffy. one. We made one wow. just, to, just to try it out, and. Um, she went under the sink to get something. And yeah, I like stuck. pretended that the garbage disposal was broken, so I went under the sink and I got stuck. <laughs> it sounds nice. And then, but it's like, what the fuck? And then he hit his dick in case you didn't. That's the beautiful thing about <laughs> pornography. So I'm like, yeah, I totally want that Quite scenario, but my girl be like, let me get the fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> yeah. You always trying to. Fuck it would me. never happen. You want to fucking trying to fix the garbage disposal? Yeah. Good. The point of porn porn is that everything leads to sex. Yeah, yeah but it's true. Cause the, like <laughs> my, my main thing is though, and this is I've always been like, I need something to make me want to watch. Really? Yeah. I mean, mm -mm, I, 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 mean the I mean, beautiful I mean, people. I mean, like, somewhat attractive even, people even sometimes. Even Does even that even work? My, even my Ugly. Like to if watch you're feeling them. like that, like in order for me to watch them, like. I, I need something to get me there to say, okay, I'm into this scene. So you need them to be like, hey, um, blah, 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 and I like, I like you're, story, you're I like nice. Story, and, I like story like that. Okay, so, um, well, like, to my like story. seeing like an interview maybe on them, that's like, that you're really interested in that, maybe before you watch a video on somebody, like seeing a little yeah. backstory on them. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I, like, I like that intro that's cool. to, get, to get there. That's what you're know? saying. It's like more like related to movies, how like a character Behind, like you have to know the character more. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, mean, and that, and that's, I see what you're saying. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I know it's a character. But like, yeah, it's but not for everybody. I, yeah. I'd be watching, yeah, but that, and I'd be like, just like "You're not carrying your through line with the character is not there. You're not keeping like you've yeah, you're I mean, coming across with this at the beginning of the scene, mid close to the middle, and then it's just like I don't know. I always feel like about two thirds in. Just okay. We're in a porno, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, like, we're in a porno. Yeah. I, I just I always just skip to the. Oh, that's a good position, good angle. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Angle. Like if somebody kept the whole like their like act up the whole time, I'd be like, mm, I, I'm not gonna watch the whole fucking thing. But I I'd be like, oh, I respect that. You didn't just mean like, ah, oh, I love it. Right? Because, because for me, it's like I need to. The thing the thing is like okay, if it's DJ, what I watch, it's like. You see, this city 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 is thirty minutes long. I watched the entire first fourteen minutes just watching. Yeah, and then I do the rest. Yep. I, yeah, I do what I got to do afterwards. You know, mm -hmm. but like, it's probably healthier. 
Yeah. I feel like I'm always more I'm in a rush. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. Fantasy. Is it because it's like, like, like... See, I need to see penetration. I need to see, like, insertion. Like, I, like, all right, I want to see that. Usually I'll skip to, like, that part, the initial... And see, that's the thing. And then, oh, okay. I don't like to see, yeah. like... like <laughs> I get into faces. No, that's this yeah. is no disrespect to the that's dudes that are going Like, and because I respect them, what they do excellent. Personally, I don't like this another man's penis. Why? Yeah, I know what you mean. So, I get what you're saying. And like, if a, if a girl's wearing a strap, great. But I don't want to see because because you know I'm see, a, so I'm wait. Sure let me you ask you a question. <laughs> okay, you don't want to see male no. a male penis. Well, mm. I mean, there's only one male penis. There's only a male penis. Right. <laughs> So, real but you don't want to see a dude with a dick. But what if it was a really beautiful woman with a dick? I don't want to yes. No. Okay. <laughs> I was just seeing. See, I, like, we've been to Thailand. Uh, we lived there. And like, I, I'll be at the 7-Eleven, you know, and up ahead of me in line, just checking out this girl in heels, legs, ass, everything. Woo! You know, turn around. And you just know from a couple different features. If you got an apple, you got a banana usually. So, uh, this is, <laughs> <and> <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that. Yeah. So you, That's a good one. You see a couple of things. I'm going to use that after Avalon. <laughs> it, you really question yourself right there. And it's like, ah, it's a beautiful yeah. man. I mean, I know, I know and they really, really try over there, right? I mean, they, oh, my they, God. They give the girls a run for their money. I, I was watching a, a documentary, and they're like, if the woman's, like, too good to be true in Thailand, it's a dude. <laughs> they even won't shave down Adam's apple. Yeah, you just you don't so find out until the, like, to the end, I guess. Yeah. I mean, probably a lot of guys. Oh, I didn't know. Right? What yeah. you mean? Yeah. Now you'll see videos on, like, don't live of, of tourists, you know, running out of somewhere. You know what I mean? Because they just found out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I showed uh, CW uh, a picture of some of T.S. First, her name is Foxy. And, like... Oh, I know. I swear up and down when I first saw that person like walk past me, I would have said that was a female. Bruh! And they I, beautiful I, women. And I sent you a picture. I'm I'm, like, you gotta be. That's a TS? What? Like, I said, I definitely would have been caught. <laughs> there's, a, there's a island in uh, Korea, Jeju Island, we went to, and there's a beach on Jeju Island. <laughs> That we never would have guessed, but we didn't even make it to the beach. Um, I mean, before I was just like, I felt uncomfortable. Usually, usually I have girls walking down the street, uh-huh. and it's just like all types of guys are just uh-huh. like, hey, hey, hey. It was to me, and it was all <laughs> these guys that were gorgeous guys, you know, long hair. You would never know, but you, did, mm-hmm. you knew, especially now, they're, you know, bikinis were a little bulgy. At, it's a beach. You know what I mean? Wow! So it's, it's like, like 50 wow. to 100, and, I'm, and they're just like, I mean, it's What's so... What's the name of this This is Jeju Island in Korea. Uh, Lebo, you gotta tell me about Jeju Island. Island. You never tell I have a friend that lives in Korea. I think... Did they have a, I think they it was a penis, a penis, penis um, field like, trip. Oh, the penis yeah. festival thing? Yeah. St- statues? Statues there. That's what oh, I heard about that. that. Yeah. We didn't go... We didn't know about it when we went. Yeah, we didn't know about it until <laughs> after. We legally got a scooter because I... I had to talk to a translator on the phone. I was like, just tell him I have a license. And then <laughs> like, they have a license. <laughs> they have a license. Okay. <laughs> That's all I needed to know. <laughs> so now it worked. You said it. Do you remember we had sex on a ferry? Yeah. Um, Fun fact, you can go from Seoul to Jeju on a 45-minute flight or an eight-hour ferry. Uh, we took the eight-hour ferry, which is actually more expensive, too. <laughs> Damn! We didn't even but know. it was like a party ferry. Yeah. Oh, that's it was really cool. We had sex in this little room. We had, like, four other bunk mates. They probably <laughs> were watching. I don't know. It was, it was awesome. It was like, well, we, we all, we all, we we all on our way to Jeju Island. I was dancing with these, like, 50-year-old uh, Korean ladies, and they had, like, masks. It was like... In a, we're doing like karaoke <laughs> in the You're lobby. Eyes wide shut. Like grinding on me. And then this like other dude grabs her. He's like, I'm a doctor in Seoul. You know? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a really cool trip. Yeah, if you ever get a chance to go to Korea, you have to make it to Jeju. Um, and apparently, like magic mushrooms naturally grow around that penis oh. place. 
The penis music. I'm feeling great. Yeah. Apparently. Wow. Yeah, this is like a documentary. Oh, we have to redo that. Eat the mushrooms and kill the ambitions. Yeah. You go. YOLO. Yeah, it's, it's a cool place, man. I would definitely go back. Yeah. Yeah. And do mushrooms this time. Yeah, next time we'll do mushrooms. <laughs> I did them at Sun Soaked. Nice. Sun Soaked with uh, Cascade. It was. Good they time. might be on the what ballot next year in what? Colorado. What? Medical oh, mushrooms wow. might be on the ballot in Colorado. They were Swiss. They they missed the ballot this year. That's wild. Right? I, I mean, the, I had a great time. I was like, yeah. yeah. I see, like, it was a lot of things going on, so yeah. I didn't have this whole thing. With, like, the first time I ever did then. mushrooms, um, I, my only way to get home that night was in the back of my buddy's, tr- my buddy's brother's truck. So they're in the front. I'm laying in the bed of the truck. And just street lights Ooh. are going by like, zing, 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 <laughs> zing, zing, zing. And I'm just crying. And they pull over, like, what is, you all right, dude? And I'm like, it's so beautiful, man. <laughs> Don't stop. Yeah. Don't that's stop what I'm driving, over, man. Ooh. Just laying back there, just like, just watching it. I swear they all had sounds when they went by, too. It was so cool. <laughs> What's going on with you? I'm just so happy. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> I think I was like 14. And My <laughs> best mushroom experience was um, when we went to Dave and Buster's. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> And um, we did a little bit of shrooms, and the best part was the bathroom. <laughs> they have the coolest wallpaper. <laughs> I left him, of course. Just like, can't go in the bathroom. She's in the bathroom for like 30 minutes, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, it's so beautiful in here. <laughs> I'm out there just like trying not to laugh and like <laughs> people are pointing at like, yeah, I'm like, I'm just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody then, Dave and Buster's is like, they're on shore. Yeah. <laughs> people that work there, they're, they're just like, there's another one. Uh-huh. <laughs> we go to like the Luigi's Mansion or something where you have to like <laughs> oh, grab the, it's like one of those ones that like, uh-huh. closes you in. You know, I think we're, we did like, we got in this laugh that we couldn't get out of. We we're like, we can't go out. We can't leave until we stop laughing, man. Yeah. Mushrooms in public, that's a tough one. Yeah. I had, it was a wonderful time. Yeah. I've never done them, so I don't know the experience. Yet. Well, I don't know, George. It's like, it's, it's you like get kind of. Alice in you take edibles, you get like yeah. I just, I just go like <laughs> just zonk out. Mm-hmm. Remember those first few times when we had to walk around Hollywood? The thing is like this: he can tell you, and people who've ever eaten food with me can tell you that oh, it takes me God. like it takes me like eight hours to eat a cheeseburger. Damn, I eat really, really, really slow. Yeah. Like you'll be like, oh, hey, George, like. It's, it's never grab me anything and go or like let's sit down. It's just like <sighs> go ahead and give him a Tobogo box because he's not gonna finish. Yeah. He's like, so as I was saying, <laughs> so, so I, I work what I what I eat usually. So it's like that's healthy to eat slow. But the thing the thing is like I was thinking I was healthy. Yeah, Don't give him a hard time. I mean it's <laughs> healthy. I'm just like man, how do you? The thing is I I had an edible like before we went there. We were working and hang out with some people that uh, were in a, visiting LA from Carolina, and like we walk into Hollywood, we stop at Baja Fresh. Baja Fresh, and I remember ordering. I remember walking to my table with the food. I don't remember eating it. Decimated that food. And I like they, <laughs> quickly. They, they, they they didn't like notice me even eating. I ate it so fast, <laughs> and I'm like, and then like I remember saying. Who ate my food? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you ate your food. I was like, here we go. Here we go. I was like, I knew this was a mistake. They wanted to come walking out. I was like, oh, fuck, I done gave George this fucking edible. He's not going to be able to go in and walk anywhere. <laughs> and this happened before the injury, too. So I was like, yeah, I just remember I uh, went to, um, what you know where you come out in Hollywood Highland? Like the uh, subway? I was right there, like, Leaning against the, the wall, like, like lean against the window, or like Aver- <laughs> was it Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch, or is it like Air Post? One of those. They're all the same. Yeah, and then like we got him in the house, and he had to hold the railing, and then he had to stop. He was like, "Leave me, 
Yeah. And then like ten minutes <laughs> later, he got up and was like, he was like, he would walk through the door. I was like, oh like, shit. Like, let's say, let's say this way that we get the elevator. Like, I, mean, I was like, that close, and I just I made it right there, and I just like <laughs> I didn't make it work. <laughs> I was screeching down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She can't keep her eyes open. I don't know. Edibles don't really do anything to me. I've tried. Like I worked at, at a, I was a bud tender in Colorado, mm. and we had a thousand milligram drinks before we, like by law, stopped being allowed to sell a thousand mm. milligram in one thing. And I could down one of those, and I'd be, I'd be all right. And she could take a couple of sips. She's struggled to keep her eyes open. Oh, they make me feel crazy. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> weird. Like I feel like I'm either like. Or I'm just like, I'm afraid because you're like, okay, I can deal with this. This is too much. And then you're like, oh, okay, maybe if I try to go to sleep. And then you go to sleep for a little bit and you wake up and you're like, fuck, I'm fucking still fucking high. And then you're like, I'm just going to try to sleep this off. And then like, oh, and then like, you're like, oh, I'm not about to throw up shit either. So it's like, oh, the room starts turning. You're like, I'm just going to try to sleep this off. Me and my girlfriend. We went to uh, see Keanu, and I was like, hey, let's do this uh, half dose. I like half of this uh, Corova, three dose. I'm like, it's nothing. We smoke weed. We smoke it on weed all the time. Yeah. So we go. We like half. I'm like, okay, we'll stop at Chipotle. You know, have a, like a, I think I had a margarita or something. And I was like, and she's like, oh, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. So we go into Keanu, and it's just like, and I see her, and she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and by the end, she's just like. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta go. It's over. And she's like, and I have to, and it's like, I don't know if you've been to AMC 16 in Burbank. No. But it's I've like, you gotta walk down these, all, all these stairs, <laughs> and then there's an escalator, and then you gotta walk all the way, and then you gotta walk down to the, <laughs> to the parking. And I just like, just sit on these stairs, and I'll come back for you. And she just sat, leaned against the wall, like, knocked out, <laughs> so pretty much. And then I was like, I'm real fucked up off this edible, too, but. I, I can make it. And I got home and then like I lived in Glendale at the time and we yeah. had a pool and she had the whole okay. The whole way and then all the way and they're like, is she okay? Something wrong? I was like, it's edible, man. It's edible. And I'm like, yeah, mm, I get it. And then like six hours later she woke up like Dude, they're heavy. I can't do it. I I'd rather smoke all day. Yeah, yeah that's what I do now. Even before I left we lived in Glendale and like it didn't hit me at all. Like, this is like four or five hours later. And like, I get my car to leave to go. My wife's when I live in um, Silmar. I started driving. And then all of a sudden, it hit me. And I had to pull off, like, I'm like, I can't move. Jeez, get that slow and then, and, then, and then, like, and then, like, luckily enough, we had did a, uh, we did a photo shoot that morning. And I had brought food to the photo shoot because, like, I feed, like, feed my models. And, like, it, was just, it just had to be some left over. So I just sat there slowly eating, trying to cover up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but we're at 42 minutes. So let me uh, go ahead. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we no, just, it no. just went off a tangent. <laughs> no, and no, like, like, we just started talking. It will, it will, it will end. So, like, so now we got to end it. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, let's wrap it in real quick. Uh, go ahead and go <laughs> social media really quick. Uh, my social media is official Jada Kai on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> and mine is uh, Sir Jackie Knight because regular Jackie Knight was taken. Damn it. And, that's, <laughs> and that's Jackie with an I E. Damn, damn, damn it, Jackie. Right? Uh, I'm coming uh, for you, you Jackie. You're going to follow us uh, at Burbank Misfits on Twitter, Burbank Misfits on um, Facebook, um, Double Red Misfits on Instagram. You want to follow me directly? It's Raw Star on Twitter. Follow him directly um, on Instagram. It's Jess underscore genetics underscore. Chris, um, we'll see you next week. Thanks for coming in, and I really appreciate our. Oh, and if you want to follow me on uh, Instagram on my fitness page, it's CC Fitness LA. Yeah, hey, and know. my Snapchat is Jada Kai sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, follow her. Yeah, follow, yeah. Follow, her, follow her Snapchat. You will love it. <laughs> Trust me. Um, yeah, tune in. Tune in next week, and we really appreciate the guests coming out. They did. They were fantastic. Yeah. And, uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you. We'll talk to you uh, next week. Oh, I guess we'll see. I don't even know if they yeah. fucking clicked off. It might have. Does that have like a time limit? Oh, no. I mean.